Hello everybody, welcome back to the Rubbish Science channel. This morning we're going to be looking at evaporation. The learning objective, can I explain why a salt water solution can be separated? So in one of our earlier clips you may have watched me doing filtration, where we uh, filtered a mixture of uh, salt water solution and sand. So the sand here is the residue that's left behind, which we don't want. And in my conical flask at the bottom here, we've got our salt water solution. Now, at the moment, you're having to take my word that there is salt dissolved there in that water. So the way to prove it is to evaporate it. So we're going to try to evaporate the salt water solution. This is called an evaporating basin, and hopefully you can see there that it's clean and dry. So I'm just going to pour a small amount of my salt water solution into here. We don't want too much, or it just takes too long. To make sure I've got my goggles on, and we're now going to heat the salt water solution. And I'm going to heat this on a roaring blue flame to try to make sure that it goes fairly quickly. So what I'm hoping to do is to prove to you that there is salt dissolved in that water uh, and the way to do it is to separate the water from the salt. Now the reason why this should work is because water has a boiling point a boiling point of 100 degrees Celsius. So once that water reaches 100 degrees Celsius, the liquid water will boil or evaporate. It will become steam. It will turn into water vapor, steam, and it will escape from the top of the basin. Salt is a substance called sodium chloride, and salt has, uh, has a melting point of about 800 degrees, but it doesn't boil until it reaches close to 1,500 degrees Celsius. So water boils at 100 degrees Celsius, but salt will not boil until I get it to 1,500 degrees Celsius, which I'm not going to be doing. I won't get it that hot. Now hopefully you can already see the water is beginning to, to bubble and to boil. Now I'm going to keep an eye on that for a moment, okay? but whilst doing that I'm also going to draw you a diagram of this equipment. So we have our heat proof mat at the bottom. The tripod. Gauze. Now, evaporating basin is quite tricky to draw. Okay, so I'm actually going to just use a beaker here to draw around the base. Oh, that wasn't very good. Okay, so there's an evaporating basin. And I can't write the word heat upside down. Okay, and there's the Bunsen. So this would be. Uh, a diagram of the equipment, and obviously in here we've got our salt water solution. Now, it doesn't take very long, and what you've got to be very careful of with this is not to allow the evaporating basin to turn to go dry. Okay, if I was to evaporate all of that water, the dish will probably crack. Okay, so I'm just going to give it a moment more. So the water is evaporating. I'm not sure if on the camera you'll pick up any steam coming out of the top. It is important when you're doing this experiment not to kind of not be tempted at this point to turn away, go and have a chat with a friend or anything like that, because it's very quickly the evaporating basin can boil dry. And as I say, it will then almost certainly break. Now the other thing is that as this starts to happen, some of the salt is getting very hot and it will begin to spit and it can spit out of the dish. So it's very important to make sure that you are wearing goggles 
and it's important to make sure you're standing up and that you also don't get your face too close. Stop heating now because the salt is just beginning to spit. I'm going to take my bath now. Turn it on to a safety flame. I'm going to turn that off. And hopefully you can see very clearly on the camera that the water has evaporated because I clearly got it above 100 degrees Celsius. But the salt, okay, the salt has not evaporated. Okay, just hold that against my black t-shirt there to help. Okay, you can see that the salt is left behind. And that's because we haven't got it hot enough yet. We haven't got it anywhere near the boiling point of salt. So we've been able to successfully prove that that was a salt water solution and what's happened now is we've evaporated the water away, the salt had nowhere to hide anymore, it wasn't able to hide amongst the water molecules anymore because they've gone and so the salt will now reappear in the dish. Okay, that's evaporation everybody, thank you.